retouching skin is always a problem. But will the new AI plugin and standalone rebloom actually work well with Capture One? Let's take a look and see. Okay, so full disclosure, full transparency. I started this review with an earlier version of rebloom using Capture One as the raw processor. And as much as I could get all the images from Capture One to go into rebloom, once the retouching was done, I would only get one or two uh, variants. So that was a problem. So I contacted the company and reached out to them and said, hey, am I doing something wrong? And uh, they looked into it and they sent me a revised version, an updated version of Rebloom, which is now available. And um, it works, it works perfectly, as you're gonna see when it comes to the workflow. Uh, but they didn't pay me for this review. I will say this though, they very kindly, because I pointed out a bug, gave me a lifetime subscription. But this doesn't influence my review. Uh, if I don't like the results, I'd be telling you. So there you have it. So here's a quick look at the Rebloom website. You'll see you can subscribe to it. You can buy it outright. It offers a one-click processing and natural looking results. So this is what caught my attention. And so let's try it out and see the results. So as I said, I like to use Capture One for all my raw processing. And I have 31 different images from different cameras, many different photographers. A lot of these are not my images. I'm just uh, using them from uh, basically a repository of images for retouching. Uh, you begin by using Edit With and exporting 8-bit TIFFs, in this case, to Rebloom. So you get your variants and Rebloom then starts processing and you'll see it's going to open up into the Rebloom uh, dialog in a second. So it takes a moment to export all those uh, TIFFs and then we open up into Rebloom and immediately it starts doing the AI retouching on that very first image. Now by default it's set to natural which uh, does some nice retouching but I'm going to switch it to the fashion in a second. Uh, while this is happening by the way you can zoom in and you can uh, do a preview of before after and you'll see I'm going to do that in a second here just so you can get a look of what Rebloom can do. And then we're going to switch over to the fashion which is the more intense. So you can see I'm moving around here, there's a before and now I've switched to fashion and fashion is more intense in its retouching. So this is where often a lot of these programs fail. They just do a whole bunch of uh, you know, sort of blurring. So I'm onto the second image now, and it started its batch process. We'll just speed this up, and you can actually see it as on the screen. You can see some of the blemishes and marks going away. So this is just going to rip through quickly. The interesting thing is this is all done on your individual machine. No cloud connection for this. So the faster the machine, the faster the processing. And uh, the key thing is, you know, being a sort of a one-click option, is it going to give us a result or is it heavy handed? Uh, that's really the interesting thing that I'm concerned about because many of the things I've tried have kind of let me down. I felt they just looked like, uh, you know, kind of spotty and questionable. So we're almost done the batch. We're coming down to the end here. And we jump back to capture one. And here come in all the variants. And so, like I say, they fixed that bug. And that works out really well. So they're all loading in very nicely for us. And we're going to do a comparison in a second. So I'll just sort them by name. Okay, I'm going to select two images at a time so we can just compare. So I'll get my first two and we'll zoom in at 100% in a second. So there they are. You can sort of already see a before or after. But here at 100%, just pan around a bit and take a look at the results. Uh, all the detail. Now this image is not in focus by the way. The eyes were out of focus. But notice the scars reduced and some of the blemishes on the skin are reduced. But the detail and the texture in the lips and uh, even that mole is left. There's hairs left. So that's one image done. Let's go to another one. Uh, this one's got again a bunch of blemishes. This is a smaller file, just a 12 megapixel camera. But you can see there we'll zoom into 100%. Again, blemishes. Now notice that stray hair is left. That's kind of interesting. So those details are not getting uh, dealt with in this version of Rebloom. And I'm not sure if I want them to because 
that could be maybe working against me. So here's another image, uh, higher resolution, lots of fine detail. She's a young girl with nice skin, just a few little blemishes. But you can see it took away the redness, those little marks. The eyes are nice and sharp, the eyelashes, eyebrows, everything's really sharp. So Rebloom didn't deal with it. Let's get another example here. Uh, again, we'll just zoom in to 100%. Now you can see she's got, again, some blemishes on her skin. Just going to pan around a little bit. So it smoothed her out really nicely, but notice the little texture, the texture in her lips. See, all that detail. That's kept all the detail. That's at the fashion setting, so that's the strongest retouching, and yet we're not seeing that plastic skin. That's what I really like about this so far. And again, everything's happening on my computer. See, there, that chin area was all fixed up. Let's go to another one now. Let's do where two people are in the image. Again, this isn't my photo. This is just from uh, a digital retouching tutorial. And uh, again, see the detail on the skin that the blemishes are gone. A little bit of the shine is still there, but the pores are visible. That's really important, right? Oftentimes we see no pores. And uh, here we go. We've got a little bit more going on. Some nice fine retouching. It's looking really good. Uh, I like the results so far. I haven't found anything that's causing any real issues. Uh, we still got the little fine lines there. The pores have cleaned up. Let's go to another one. We'll go down here, uh, grab a different skin tone. Again, let's zoom into 100%. You can see the little bit of a difference there. Again, the forehead, the shadow, see how it dodged in the after version, the chin, little details, uh, the neck got smooth just ever so slightly, but still we've got those fine hairs. Skin was smoothed out a little bit. That mole was a little suppressed just a little bit. So doing really well. Let's go again to another skin tone. We'll just change because we don't want to just stick with one type of skin. Again, see the blemishes smoothed out on the cheek. But detail on the lips, that's great. That's what I want. Uh, again, we're going for authenticity. That's what there, see there's that cleanness right there. Uh, that little blemish is left, those marks on the lips. The chin is smoothed out. So the algorithm seems really good. This is again, like I say, you know, you've got a few little things left, but that keeps it looking authentic. We don't have, you know, the, the forehead is fixed, but look at this eyelashes. The eyes, the redness in the eyes has been removed a little bit. The veins just uh, reduced. Let's go again to another image. We'll just go to uh, another pair. So it's working when it's not just one one face, but when there's two faces. So you can see quite a difference here, the smoothness of the skin, but lots of detail. You know, really, it's really working nicely, even with two people in the, in the image. We'll go with another image a little bit darker. Uh, more shadow. Again, you know, the skin is cleaned up just a little bit, just so subtle. And that's what I like about this. This is automatic. This is not something I have to really adjust. It's one click, like they say. So I know there's other programs out there. I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison upcoming. So you may want to check that out. But notice it smoothed out her arms just ever so gently. You know, again, a different skin tone again. Let's just zoom in. Again, the eyes weren't sharp, but uh, look at the details on the lips. The chin has got that little smoothness, that little bit of uh, blemishes. That image wasn't really sharp, but that's okay. I'm just looking to see the results across the board. We'll go with really fair skin now and just zoom in and uh, see that little mark just up on the nose that's been fixed. A little the stray hair is left. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, the complexion and the cheeks is just smoothed out a little bit the chin smoothed out a little bit so this is doing a lot of uh, the heavy lifting you know that's what I'm looking for something quick I don't want it my images to look like plastic but I know people want retouching the eye see the eye veins that's tuned up so I'm not getting paid as I say there you know yes I got a you know I got a lifetime subscription you could say for the bug but that had nothing to do with my desire for the review so here's really strong skin blemishes again a 
an image. You can see it's all over the cheeks, just zooming in here. There's that stray hair, but notice the blemishes are dealt with. The little sparkles are still there. The smile line is suppressed ever so gently. Um, this is, again, like I say, this is relatively early version. This isn't even a 1.0 from Rebloom, and I'm pretty impressed with the results. So here we go. We'll just do one more image. Now, very minimal amount needed here, but notice the shadow. Uh, I guess I wouldn't say it's sort of where the eye bag would be if you want to use that term, but some dodging went on. That scar is suppressed, but not completely removed. The eyelashes, the eyebrows, nice and sharp. There's that scar on the other side you'll see is uh, completely removed there. That one's gone. So it's looking great. I'm satisfied with this. Um, I'm glad I've tried this out. And uh, I just want to share that. There's going to be a 20% uh, discount code in the comments or in the details of this video if you want to take advantage of it. But try it out. It, there's a free trial on the website. So I think Rebloom uh, lives up to its claims. It gives excellent results. It works great with Capture One. And uh, as I say, I'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison. So subscribe and leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you.